Hi, I'm Alfred Bundy. We're here in Atlantic City for this special edition of Meet the Leaders at the 103rd League of Municipality Convention. My special guest is Assemblyman Robert Karabinchak. How'd that do? Oh, perfect. That was perfect. Listen, one of the things we need to be looking at is ways to retain and get business people to come and new companies to come to New Jersey so we can create good, great jobs for everyone who lives here. Uh, how's this working out right now in New Jersey? Well, one of the things that we're trying to do, and I'm bringing forward some bills that's going to expedite our process, the review process, the permitting process, the inspection process. This is where we see that new development is one of the issues that stops people from coming here. So we're trying to do this. Um, the government. What stops them now? Tell me, tell me, give me one example. It's the red tape. It's the time it takes for reviews. Uh, for state reviews, you could be talking three months, six months. How do we compare to other states? Less than a month. Wow. I do business in Texas and in Indiana, and we have our reviews in less than one month. All right. So what will you, So what will your bill help? It would. It would allow our state and our local officials. Uh, to be able to review these at an expeditious time. And we're also gonna produce an outside third party that if a municipality doesn't have the manpower to do this, they could go to that third party. They, the clients would pay a little extra money for that. However, they'd be able to get their, their plans reviewed, their inspections done in a timely manner, less than two days. And that's something that drives the economy. Mm. Now, why do you think that will work? and will the state make money from that? I'm talking about as an entity, or will it, will it help our economy overall? Both. Okay. Um, on the economy, the quicker you could produce uh, construction, development, bringing businesses here that want to, to come to New Jersey, that generates a couple different things. It generates um, workforce uh, during the building, permanent employment, then it produces a revenue stream for that municipality, mm -hmm. and then which in turn produces a different revenue stream for the state of New Jersey. Let's stay on business development a little bit. What would you like to see us do as far as being training, really being ready for these companies? Are we doing enough? Well, one of the things that, that we just did this year um, in our budget and what the public just did, they passed a referendum for $500 million. 350 million of that is going to Votex all across our state of New Jersey. This is something where young adults, not everyone goes to college. That's true. And there's, it teaches them a trade mm -hmm. that they'll carry with them for the rest of their lives. And these trades now are bringing a very good paycheck. That That's right. I, I, you know, welders, plumbers, carpenters, yes, they absolutely. make very, very good money. Absolutely. So not everyone goes in his IT That's you know, true. savvy, including myself. I understand. Um, this alone drives the economy. Uh, the quicker you could produce this and, and educate and teach our, our young adults a trade, this is, this is going to be a big boom in not just in New Jersey and the construction, but in the future. And we have such a talented, diverse community here that we're not utilizing. Mm. It's there. Too many of our college students, when they graduate, they leave New Jersey. I want to keep them here. I see where the governor also started this kind of free dollars for a junior college. Yes. Uh, where I guess up to a level of about $45,000, you may be eligible to go to junior college, uh, community college. Or community college. Yes. For free. That's right. If you fit that model, this is something that hasn't been done in New Jersey ever, mm. ever. And this is something that excites me. It should excite the people that are looking to do this. The people that could now go to college and not be burdened with huge debt when they walk out. Uh, I feel bad for some of the, the people that have, have gone through the system and have, you know, literally 80, 100,000. That's right, six it's figures. A, it's a lot of money. It's like a mortgage. That's when right. I, that's right, that's so true. We're, we're going way back, that was a mortgage for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to see that happen. And I am, like I said in the beginning, I'm so excited. The administration's doing this with an assembly and the Senate. We're looking to move this, the, the state forward and open up so many doors for our youth, which in turn is an investment in our future of New Jersey. Okay. So I'm excited. One thing you want to see in next year's budget from Governor Murphy. One thing. What's that? 
I'm asking you a question. What's your one thing you would like to see? One thing. I would like to see more of an investment in New Jersey, more opportunity for diversity, and more opportunity for a, a return on our investment. I don't care if it's education, I don't care if it's vote techs, I don't care if it's, it's uh, opportunities to, for people to come like we do right now, going to college for free. Um, but I want to see the, some of the stuff expand. So we're bringing outside companies to New Jersey. Okay. That's what I want to see. That's look, a little more than one, but we like that answer. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank Assemblyman Robert Karabinchek yes. for being with us here in Atlantic City at the League of Municipalities. Thank you. Thank you.